Hey guys, it's VT Game Girl 11 back with another video. This is going to be a flea market pickups video, and this flea market happens twice a year. It was actually supposed to happen last week, but the uh, Hurricane Florence decided to interrupt that, so it got moved into the following week. So this is everything that I got from the flea market on this day. Now there is a vendor there who I normally buy stuff off of, and I mention in my videos every time I do one of these flea market finds. This time around, the prices were ridiculous, so I just I didn't get anything from them. But I found a lot of other people that had some great deals, so let's get started. Alright, so first, I do have like a few things that aren't like gaming related that I'll just randomly show in this video as well. At least I have it in my bag down here. But to start off with the games, for two bucks I got Motion Sports Play for Real for Xbox 360 Connect. I don't have this game for Connect. I did need to like test my Connect that I bought from Goodwill a while back because my dog completely chewed up the one that I had that came with my Xbox. So I figured that this would give me a good reason to test the Connect out. And at the time I didn't know like most Connect games really like there's only a, a few I think that are actually worth anything. But I didn't know if this one was or not. So two bucks I wasn't gonna pass it up. It's it is complete. So that's nice. And also for two bucks I got Odd Worlds Munch's Odyssey Refreshingly Twisted. Um, somebody obviously bought this from Goodwill for $1.95. I got it for two bucks which is basically the same thing. I have this game. I just don't know if I have it complete or not. I have to go through my Xbox stuff. But I wasn't going to pass it up for two bucks. This, uh, these three, the first three you see, was actually a from the same person and they wanted two dollars a game so I picked up three hoping that I could get it for five and get a dollar off but he wouldn't give me a dollar off so I just went ahead and bought them for two dollars each so I also got the thing from them I don't know if this is any good or not but I don't have this in my Xbox collection so I figured why not add it for two bucks and it is complete and then I got these two games from the same person. Ignore my dog who thinks every noise is like somebody trying to break into my place. Nola! I promise you the world is not ended yet! It almost did last night when we lost over to you, but it hasn't yet! Alright, so these next two games were from the same vendor and she's there every year. And she always has like different prices for each game. I was going to get World War, uh, World War II Aces for the Wii, but she wanted $5 for that, and that's not worth $5. I heard it's a good game, but you could get that for like $4 or $3. It's, you know, it, that's not like it's that hard to find that game. It's pretty common, actually, so I passed on that one. These next two, I weren't sure if they were uncommon at all or not, but this first one is X-Men Legends Rise of Apocalypse 2, and I had the first one, so and I liked the first one, so I figured I might as well add the second one to my collection. And this one was four dollars. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the manual, but the disc is in there. I highly recommend check the disc. I mean, I know that's a lot of people already know that, but especially when you go to flea markets, a lot of the time they don't even check the disc to see if they're good or not. Some of the discs were, and I'm not talking from this vendor specifically, but like everywhere, like some of the discs were too scratched up or they didn't have a chance to play at all. So definitely check the disc. Nobody cares if you check them or not. Next is Dynasty Warriors 5. I also got this for four bucks from her as well. I, I swear it was like an Xbox fest at this flea market. I don't know why. Like normally I rarely find, I mean I don't like not rarely but I hardly find Xbox stuff. This is also complete at flea markets. I mean I'll find Xbox games but not as much as I found this time around. It mainly was Xbox stuff until I got towards the end and then I found one vendor who had a bunch of like mixed Xbox and PlayStation stuff so I got a lot of PlayStation games from him but before that it was pretty much all Xbox and honestly I like the Xbox but I wanted to find more games for my PS3 and I didn't find anything till the end so I was really happy to find that vendor but I also found I can't remember if this was by itself or not oh no it's with these two so I also got Oh, it's with this one. Sorry. I also got 
Final Fantasy 12 and this insert is like really faded but I don't have this one and this was two bucks so I figured why not pick it up and that is for PlayStation 2 obviously and this isn't a game but from the same person I got Aladdin the Return of Jafar because I have not seen this in forever and I just wanted to see it again and I don't really see this DVD or Aladdin for that matter anywhere anymore so I decided why not pick it up right so I got that so from another vendor I got these three the little Deadpool plush which originally was five dollars I did not pay that for him uh, these games were three dollars each I didn't pay that either I asked him if I got these three if he would give me a discount so technically with them together it should have been eleven dollars he gave them to me for seven so here's the Deadpool plush I just really liked him somebody picked him up before me but they didn't want to pay the five dollars either so they put them down and I'm thinking well maybe if I threw the games in they would give me a better deal so I was really happy to pick him up and then I got two good games I got Ratchet and Clank the collection for PS3 and this has Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet and Clank Going Commando, Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal, and there's a voucher that was good for a Ratchet and Clank avatar, it probably doesn't work anymore, and also a voucher for a Sly Cooper Thieves in Time demo, which is in here, but I doubt it works anymore, it's probably expired. Yeah, definitely expired, it expired in 2013, but there's the game. I don't know... I have a feeling this is supposed to have a manual, so if anybody has this game and knows if it has a manual, I'm guessing it does because it's a PS3 game, let me know because that's kind of one that I'd like to have the manual for. And the next one doesn't have the case, which I normally don't pick up, especially with the PS3 because these cases, like the GameStop cases, are just horrific. But the game was a really good game, and that is Silent Hill HD Collection. You can see it's just the basic GameStop case, but there is the disc right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I don't know what all comes on the Silent Hill collection, so if anybody knows, let me know in the comment section below. But I saw that and I knew Silent Hill was good games, and I I don't have a Silent Hill game, so I figured, hell yeah, I'll find the find the collection, pick it up for what I basically got for like two bucks. So why not, right? So I got that. And then I also found these games. These games were five dollars each, which normally I don't like to pay unless it's a good game. But it's like harder to find Wii U games in my area, especially like pre-owned Wii U games that people are selling. And I didn't have these for my collection, so I figured why not add them. So I found The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one or not because I'm not big into Walking Dead so if anybody wants this for trade or would like to purchase this let me know in the comment section below we can work something out for that and I also got Sonic Lost World and I have this for the 3DS and I'm stuck on it so I'm hoping if I play this version it is complete I'm hoping if I play this version that maybe I can get past it on a larger screen hoping that's my problem but it's probably not it probably just uh, probably just the fact that I suck at it then we got Adventure Time Finn and Jake investigations because I'm five and I like Adventure Time so I figured why not pick it up and it's also complete always looking for games to add in my Wii U collection because I have a feeling the Wii U is basically going to become like the Dreamcast in the future because the Dreamcast did not get a lot of respect at all and in my opinion it deserved a lot more respect and the same for the Wii U so I have a feeling it's kind of going to be similar in years to come and then I got all of these this was the last stop I made and I'm glad I went in there because I almost didn't I found this guy and he told me he would give me a deal if I got a bunch of them so this whole stack I got for 17 bucks 15 bucks no 15 bucks so this whole stack I got for 15 bucks and it was one two three four five six seven games and one movie so I thought that was a good deal so the first one I got is actually a movie and that is the Great Indian Wars 1540 to 1890 this is a 
This is a DVD, but I'm hoping that the full thing is on here because it's one of those like thick ones. And it's one of those that has this like square thing in the middle and it has like the disc. You know, it's like one of those like really cheaply made DVDs. I don't know if this is the only disc that's supposed to be in there or if there's supposed to be more than that, but I'm going to find out when I watch it because it doesn't tell you on the disc the length of time, but it does on the back. And I don't know if 235 minutes they would put on one disc or separate it when normally these cases they put on multiple discs. So I guess I'll find out. But the reason why I picked this up is because I have Indian blood in me. My grandmother's father was full-blooded Cherokee, so I thought this would be interesting to watch. Never seen it. I don't know if this is like a... It's not like a National Geographic thing or anything. It's just a movie that somebody made, so let's see who... Mill Creek. Mill Creek Entertainment. Never heard of them, but yeah, so figured I'd pick that up. And then, I don't know if I mentioned, but all of these together... I got for 15 bucks. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games and one movie. And this is where the PlayStation stuff comes into play. Minus one. Um, I'll start with the one Xbox game first, and that is for Xbox 360, and that is Flat Out Ultimate Carnage. I love the Flat Out games. I did not have this one, so I was happy to see it. I'm a little concerned because, well, first off, it is complete, but the disc is kind of like got a couple of deep scratches I mean they're not deep but they're more than minor like on the very edge of it so I'm hoping that that does not affect gameplay but I love fly out so I had to pick it up and give it a shot and for basically what is that basically like two bucks I think it's technically even under two bucks you can't go wrong with it then I got Need for Speed Shift. I know a lot of people don't like the Need for Speed games, especially like the newer Need for Speed games, but I don't have this one. And I like most of them. I don't like all of them. So I thought I'd give this one a try. It is complete. And then I got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. I have not played a Tony Hawk game in a long time, like the newer Tony Hawk games. So I figured I might as well pick this one up and try it out. Let me know if this one's supposed to have a manual or not. I'm sure it is, because again, it's a PS3 game. Uh, then we have Grid 2. I have not played Grid 1, but I've wanted to try Grid out, so I figured I might as well try this one out. They didn't have the first one, but they had like three copies of the second one, which is kind of weird. I don't know if other people got the first one already or not, but it is complete. So I'm hoping... To get into that series and this is a racing game so I'm guessing you really don't like need to play the first game to play the second game so I figured that's not that big of a deal then I got Star Trek which I okay I'm gonna be honest I don't like Star Trek my mother was a big fan of Star Trek and she watched it religiously my mother and my aunt watched it religiously when I was a child and I lived in the same house as them and it's like every time I walked in the room they were watching this <laughs> Now, now, this is a newer Star Trek, like, based off the movie, but just the fact that, like, I literally was watching Star Trek 24-7 as a kid, like, I think that's the reason why I don't like it. <laughs> but I picked this game up because I heard it was actually a decent game. It doesn't have a manual, again, if it comes with one. But, I think this was a rental at one point because it has, like, the little sticker thing around it. But I figured I would pick it up. If anybody wants this for trade, let me know. I thought maybe it was worth a little bit. Maybe I can like trade it in somewhere, but it's really not anymore. So if anybody would like that for a trade, let me know. And then I got Saints Row Gate Gate. I don't know if you say Gate out of Hill or Gat out of Hill or how you're supposed to actually pronounce it, but we got that one as well. And this one is complete. I did not have this one, and I finally decided that I'm gonna collect all the Saints Row games that are on PlayStation 3 on PlayStation 3 and not Xbox 360 because I did have some for both. So now I'm going to keep the Xbox 360 versions of Saints Row that you can only get on Xbox 360 and then the rest of them I'm going to get on PS3. So that's what I decided to do with that. And then I got Tekken 6. I love the Tekken games. I did not have this Tekken so I decided to pick it up. Never can go wrong with Tekken games, in my opinion, and it is complete, and it is a greatest, greatest hits. 
so you know it's good. Again, it's Tekken. I really never played a Tekken game that wasn't good. So I got all of those for 15 And that is pretty much it gaming-wise, except for these two little things. And that is this Pikachu. I have a bunch of these already. And I always forget what they're called every single time I make a video. But I think they're like perler, be perler beads. I like to call them like pixelated keychains. Like, because that's just what it reminds me of. I don't know why. <laughs> but I forget what these things are called every single time that I make a video. But as you can see, well, no, you can't see it. Well, I have this one right here you might be able to see. And then I have Crash down here who I got like the last time I went to the flea market. But this is from a different person. And I think I have like another one or two. And then I have a nightlight that was made from Super Mario. But this one actually came from a kid made these. I mean, I don't think he was any older than 10. He made these. And the kid was selling these to make money for himself. So they only wanted $3 for this Pikachu. So I decided to pick him up. Now, he does have something in this bee that I've tried to poke out and get out. I don't know if the bee was just like stained on the inside or what, but it's bugging me. But from a distance, you can't really tell unless you're me. So <laughs> I got that. And then I got this cute little Yoshi who was only a dollar. So you can't hear. You can't really see it. Let me get closer. There we go. Love him. A, a little kid. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he had help or not, but I don't think he did because his mom was constantly like, Oh, he made all of these, and I mean, he did a really good job. He only wanted a dollar for these little ones, and so technically it was four dollars, but I gave him five and told him to keep a dollar because any kid that's doing stuff like that, I like to try to support them, so I got that. And then, random, I got these two, like, stress balls because I was with my mother and my little sister, and when you're with them, they need stress balls. So I figured why not? They were like 25 cents. And then I also got a Lion King nightlight for a dollar that's new in the package for my Lion King collection. So I thought that was cool as well. I almost dropped it and broke it, but there we go. So that is everything that I got from the flea market. I also got more stuff after the flea market. We went to the mall that I got from GameStop. But I'm going to put those, oh, well, GameStop and Walmart. I'm going to put those in my recent Pecos video instead of this one. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite thing was that I found at the flea market. And I hope everybody has a great day. Make sure you are compassionate and kind to everyone around you. And thanks for watching. Close it out, Deadpool. Okay, VT Gamer Girl 11. I don't talk like this at all, but I do when she tries to make me talk. Bye, guys.